Okay, we're up to the start now. Thames Challenge Cup. We've got Henley Rowing Club versus London Rowing Club A. And off they go. Some interesting racing for this crew yesterday, the London Rowing Club 8. Yeah, I think London's kind of going through that kind of rebuild phase, isn't it? You know, they've, they've invested heavily in their facilities, you know, change of coaches, the system. And it's great to see them back racing the regatta, racing on Friday as well, because we haven't seen that for a while. Yeah, their new head coach, Drew Heaps, doing a great job of them here. But Henley, on home water, just got a canvas over them by the end of the island, I'd say. It's an impressive move there by the Henley crew. That they've really gone out and tried to kind of stamp their mark in this race from the word go. Really put the London crew under pressure. So this is for the the Thames Challenge Cup for the club men's aids. And here we're back to the live shots of just past Forley. Henley have broken a bit of clear water over London Ring Club A. And quite relaxed there, sitting up on this London crew. And that's the sort of margin you want in that. You're looking back at your competitors, you know, being an eight, you know, this boat better than anyone, Jess, after competing at Rio, winning that silver medal. So, you know, just anything that you would kind of, in that crew, if you were in that position, in that Henley boat, is there anything you'd be expecting the Cox to say or any communication in the boat? Just to kind of stand a bubble, not make a mis I don't want to say make mistakes, that's something negative, but what sort of things would be going on if you're in this position? Yeah, I mean, you know, these, these guys have raced already. They'll look at um, the times. You'll certainly look at the times to the barrier of your opposition to see who was quickest, and you get a kind of idea. But the London crew yesterday um, had a row over because they had a clash in their race. So they're a little bit fresher, um, and they might not have been tested as much. So this Henley crew would have looked at times. And you'd, you'd hope to have a clear picture now by the Friday of how fast these boats are going. Um, you certainly want to conserve energy. If you think you're going to be ahead, you'd probably have a plan to try and take it down a little bit to get you through in the best possible shape. But yeah, you, you very rarely see a crew coming back through um, another crew in the big boats in the eights. Yeah, I completely forgot that this London crew raced that Agecroft crew yesterday when there was a clash, disqualification, and they progressed through that. That's also really hard because you kind of want to become robust with your racing, don't you? you? Kind of that sense of, oh, wow, that really hurt. But you kind of you're adapting to it as you move through the regatta and not to have yeah. that can sometimes be a disadvantage. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they all want to have a good row out and be tested physiologically, but at the same time, you almost don't as well. So there's a fine line <laughs> between the two things. Um, but uh, Henley seem fairly comfortable here, stroked by Cameron Matassian. I think they're going to be giving their home crowds a nice thing to clap about here coming through the steward's enclosure. But London haven't backed off. They're still giving it some... I suppose that's the thing, because they, they didn't get a chance to really race the full length of the course yesterday, that race ended very, very quickly as they kind of entered the booms yesterday, so in the first couple of hundred metres. Um, they're really going to want to test themselves, aren't they? Absolutely, and this is it. This is their Henley, you know, this is what they trained for two years for, so they want to put on a show. Cox by Heather Scott there, the London Rowing Club 8, Putney. What have they got in this last bit? Can they challenge at all? Because the Henley crew look pretty relaxed to me into Stewart's enclosure. But as we've seen in some of the races, that, that kind of trying to look after yourself. So you start to think about the, the next race. And it'd be interesting to know when a Cox would say, right, well, we're going to start kind of winding down, but not too long, because you don't want the other crew to kind of pounce on you. Oh, but it looks like a safety road down towards the finish line. Friday race of the Thames Challenge Cup. It's going to be a win for Henley Rowing Club over London Rowing Club A. Hey, 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 hey. 